taking a stand, defending Freedom Convoy. Well, it's day two for the trucker-led People's Convoy, which set out yesterday from Southern California, and we are continuing to track along with the procession as it makes its way peacefully across the country toward Washington, D.C., standing up, or should I say rolling, for freedom. Joining me for today's special Defending Freedom Convoy segment is the national organizer of the People's Convoy, Maureen Steele. She is uh, connecting with us. In fact, we're still trying to get her connected from the road in Arizona, where the convoy is uh, right now. In fact, if you want to go to their website, uh, they have all their stops listed out over the next few days. And uh, there's a link at TonyPerkins.com if you'd like to uh, keep up with what they're doing. Also, uh, at TonyPerkins.com, we were talking earlier with uh, former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo about praying for the people in Ukraine. Well, we have a uh, we have a prayer guide at TonyPerkins.com uh, that can kind of give you some history there and also encourage you and uh, how to pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. Ukraine. Well, joining me now from the road is Maureen Steele. She is the national organizer for the People's Convoy that's headed to Washington, D.C. Maureen, welcome to Washington Watch. Hi there. How are you? Thanks for having me on. Well, absolutely. So on yesterday's show, we had uh, Pastor Rob McCoy, who uh, prayed over the convoy before it embarked on its cross-country journey. So I wanted to check in and see how things have been going over the uh, this first day on the road. I, I got to tell you, this has been a, an unbelievable experience um, for all of us on this convoy. But the outpouring of love and support, um, the generosity of the American people, it is it is overwhelming. We have five tractor trailers right now, only two stops. Where we started in Barstow and where we uh, marshaled last night in Flag in, um, in Kingsman, we have five tractor trailers full of supplies and food and water and um we had a two companies give us 25,000 gallons of, of fuel for the truck. The kindness of people has just been staggering the support. We have Rubbermaid bins full of letters from children, money, um, just cards wishing us well, thanking God we're doing this and praying for us. It has just been, you know, God's hand is on this convoy. Um, this this country was founded, you know, one nation under God, and I don't believe God is going to let this country fall to evil uh, hands and uh, to socialism. Uh, you know, people are rising up. The, the veils are coming off people's eyes, and um, every creed, color, and nation was represented um, at that rally yesterday when we left. Um, it was it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen and witnessed and been part of. Um, just absolutely extraordinary. I'm so proud to be an American today. I'm proud of our country, and I'm proud of the way our countrymen are rallying um, under the banner of freedom together. That is the one thing that unites us all, and um, liberty crackles through all of our veins. And this country is strong and united, and we are going to get our freedoms back. Well, Maureen, uh, we want to— Thank you. Thank you for your leadership. It uh, it is amazing to watch. And that's why we're doing this segment uh, each day, kind of tracking the progression here, because what this shows is that no matter who you are, where you are, if you'll simply use what you have, you can defend freedom. And that's why I'm so grateful for the truckers uh, all across this country and in Canada that have stood up against tyranny and doing it in a peaceful, lawful manner. I mean, this is uh, this. Yeah. I think that's why people are coming out to support you. It's because they're thankful for those that are standing up to defend freedom. Yes, and and yeah. What's so amazing is that there's nothing, there's nothing hateful. There's no derogatory flags. There's there's nothing like that. It's purely love of country. I just left a gas station a few minutes ago, and um, this woman recognized me and came up and she hugged me, and then her girlfriend did. Um, but we get out to the parking lot, and she said, you know. All this time, the last two years, I felt alone, like I was the only one. And she was being part of this convoy now. She wasn't seeing all the support. She was, we're the majority. You know, we're, we are vastly the majority of people that want freedom and want our country back to the way it was. And we're going to take it back. 
And like you said, in a loving way, but a strong way, the voices of the American people are about to be raised very loudly with this convoy. Um, this like when Trudeau stood up and said, you know, what was going on in Canada was a fringe group. Anyone with two eyes in their head that, that was looking at, at some of the footage absolutely knew that was not the case. That was no fringe group. That was majority of the country rallying against Trudeau. And well, that I, is what I, is happening here. Yeah, I think he was actually looking it, in the mirror when he said that. Um, yeah, yeah let's, it's, it's the same here. This is more than just truckers. You have others that have joined this convoy as well. So t talk about some oh of the others God, that have joined yeah. in. I mean, that's one of the most beautiful things. And it's one of the things as, as having been the one that's worked with the truckers and, and rallied the truckers through this whole process. Uh, it absolutely is not just the truckers. They're the tip of the spear, you know, our wonderful um, backbone of America, the kings of the road. But this is I mean, most of this convoy leaving Barstow was just people, just folks, families with their kids and the family dog in the minivan and um, students and just people. It, it is indeed the people's convoy just led by the truckers. And um, it, it was just extraordinary to see. To give you an example, we had 1,100 just people. We had um, right now we have about 200 trucks and uh, RVs and probably twice as many in, in just cars as, as yesterday. So we had 1,100 cars yesterday. We have about probably about 2,000 today. Wow. And we doubled the truckers and RVs. So the convoy was six miles long yesterday. I'd say it's probably about 12 today. And uh, it is just growing, and it's going to grow bigger and bigger at every marshalling point. Um, but I love, I love that there's just families on it, and they brought the family dog. And when we marshal, everyone has their dogs out running around in the fields and parking lots. And it is this is the most loving event I think I've ever attended. Um, it's just the me. Um, yeah, the love for your fellow man and the ability to help each other and, and the willingness to just reach out and help is just extraordinary. Well, Maureen, we're out of time up against a break, but we're going to keep checking in with you and uh, drive safely and uh, try to be the first one to the rest stop. I know it's going to be a long line with 12 miles worth of cars. Great to talk with you. Indeed. Thank you.